So my postman. Do you want to be on? Yeah, go on then. All right. He's from Royal Mail. He's awesome. Right, if you, you if you post these are awesome, they should get paid better than they do. Just put that in. But um, <laughs> but they don't. Anyway, um, they uh, they've delivered my fish and uh, he's delivered to my house. But my post is awesome, and he didn't want to leave them outside in the heat. So he's actually told me, and I'd come and collected them off him. Thank you very much, Chris. Welcome. I ordered uh, a load of fish online again. Um, and I've been waiting for them to come and they arrived today and as you saw by the beginning of this video uh, my good friend Chris who's a postman in my hometown um, he delivered them and because he didn't want to leave them out in the sun he um, came to me and said I didn't want to leave them in the sun so they're back at the office anyway let's go and pick them up which I have and uh, I've received them which is fantastic thank you Christopher awesome postman all postmen are awesome in England um, and they don't get paid enough and our uh, government forces people not to be able to strike anymore, or that's what they're trying to do. And I think it's a shame because uh, everyone should have the right to, to uh, strike, um, to, to get put pressure onto the big companies to get paid more, to get paid what they deserve. And I don't mean just the post office, I mean National Health, um, you know, all the doctors and nurses that do a fantastic job. They all did a fantastic job looking after us through the pandemic. Um, and everyone clapped and cheered through the pandemic because they were doing a great job. But they're not getting paid anymore. And uh, although they're probably, they've been offered money and all that sort of thing. But I do think that all of these people in the whole of England and the whole of the UK should get paid more. Um, our government just gives away money willy-nilly to different people, mostly to themselves to line their own pockets. Um, and they don't give it to the right people who do all the brilliant work for our country. And I think it's wrong. So anyway, that's my little rant on our government and how they give all our money away. Um, and I mean, billions they've given away to their own people and they're not paying the, the actual people who work to earn the taxes and all that sort of thing in this country they're not paying them anymore and it's ridiculous they should go and they should give someone else another a, a chance to do a better job because i think they're rubbish anyway as i said enough of the rant back to the fish the fish that i've ordered here these ones are long thin rosy barbs and i've also got a pair of um a pair of Odessa barbs, they're male Odessa barbs, there's two of them and they're in this floating raft bed and I'm putting this bag of rosy barbs in with them, there you go, and it's just to uh, acclimatise the fish so that the temperature becomes the same. Uh, in this tank, in this tank, in this floating raft bed, there's already um, guppies which are over there, mollies, like a Dalmatian molly, there's four, three girls and one boy, the boys are darker one, the girls are all light. There's two pairs of guppies, two males, two females, they're um, snakeskin guppies. And I also ordered 10 um, platies. Now they're supposed to be assorted platies, they all seem very similar. I think there's a couple that are perhaps tux tuxedo ones. Um, but, and then sunrise ones, I'm trying to get you to see them. And uh, they're also going to go in the floating raft bed and I'm going to put them in there to acclimatise as well. And I'll stay in the water for 10, 15 minutes. The water's actually about, if you have a look, water is, uh, there's a load of water louse hanging about on the thermometer. And it's about 60, so oh, it's nearly 20 degrees in there. Um, but it's between 18 and 20 degrees all the time in this floating raft bed. And that's where the 10 um, platies are gonna live, the 12 uh, barbs, long fin rosy barbs and two Odessa barbs are already in. The mollies are there, or the two of the females are. Three of the guppies are there. Um, I saw the, the two male Odessa barbs this morning. There's also a trio of swordtails, and I saw them this morning. And there's two 
white cloud minnow. Oh, there's that. There's the fourth female guppy. I don't know where you can see her. She's over there, swimming about with the um, mollies. So, two pairs of guppies, two of the mollies. I don't know where the other ones are. They're probably hanging out around here somewhere. But they're all in, and they'll all live in this floating raft bed. And um, hopefully they'll breed, and I'll have lots of baby ones. And I'll bring you along in a minute, or in 10 minutes, when I open the bags. I've also got uh, a big black tub here. This one's got cherry shrimp in, and there's um, 12 red cherry shrimp and one um, really shrimp and there's also a whole load and six super red um, bristle nose catfish and I can see one of them at the bottom there but I'm sure that you can't because it's so I mean, bright in here that everything reflects. Just zooming in on the temperature in here it's about 45 46 degrees in inside the polytunnel. Okay so it's been about 10 minutes and the fish should have climatized to the water and I'm sure that they'll be glad to be out of this bag. So this is the platies that are going to go into the floating raft bed pond along with the mollies. And there we go, there's two in. I hope you can see it's so bright in here. I'm not too sure if you can see or not, but there's five of the ten. So you can see there's one sat on the bottom there. So I really hope you can see this because it's so, so bright in here. Um, they'll settle in in no time at all. I'll just open the other bag. So there's another five in here. So you can see in the bag. So there's another five in this bag and they're going to get released into the pond. So here we go. Just literally tip them in like that. One, two, three, four, five. So that's ten platies. They've got a massive pond because they've been living in, probably in a fish tank, in the um, suppliers. And now they're in a floating raft bed. You can see a couple of mollies over there, the females, which is great. And then I've just got these. These ones, these are the long fin rosy barbs. So I'm going to open the pack and we'll put them in as well. Alright, so here we go. So these are the long fin rosy barbs and they'll soon find their way but they'll also find that they've got some friends which are also barbs but they're odessa barbs and the odessa barbs here we go they're all going in now the odessa barbs are a similar one but they've got more color and the reason i put them in is because i want them to breed with these now i've never kept long fin rosy barbs i've kept rosy barbs before uh, but long fin rosy barbs, they've just got longer fins, obviously. Um, rosy barbs and odessa barbs eat hair algae, and there's a lot of algae in here, so they'll have a lot of food to eat. Anyway, I've tipped them straight in, and there they are. They're all in there, the ten of them. I'm actually going to take a scoop of this algae out because it's taking up a lot of room, and uh, I don't need that much algae in here. Um, although the fish will eat a lot of it, um, I, I don't want too much algae, I keep feeding it to my worm bins. Just take that out, chuck it away. All the fish are in. Okay, you can see them all swimming about, free swimming. Um, I have got some other things at home which I'm going to bring up, and they are rams horn snails. And if you watch my uh, keeping shrimp and different wild shrimp in the spaghetti jar, on my windowsill you'll see that I've got um, I've got snails in there and they're ram's horn snails, purple ram's horn snails and they're doing so well and they're breeding so I want to try and bring some of them up here and put them in as well but for now this is just a quick update of adding more fish, long fin rosy barbs and platies, assorted platies and they're all in so sure they're going to enjoy their new life in this big giant pond. I'll give them some fish in about 10 minutes. I'll bring you along to see that. And um, hope everyone's well. Hope you're enjoying my channel. Nice one. Cheers. I've de-algified, de-algified, I don't know if that's a word or not. I've de-algied the pond, the floating raft bed pond. I've taken loads of algae out of here. 
Um, you can see lots of fish swimming about. Uh, they're a mixture now of uh, longfin cherry barbs, a couple of Odessa barbs, 10 platys. Look in this corner here, there's actually quite a few. 10 platys are of a mixed variety, three sword tails, four guppies. Um, so barbs, guppies, sword tails and platys. They're all in the pond. I'm taking the algae out just so that it clears it up a bit, just so that you can see the fish. And um, I'll put something in so that they've got some cover. There's a plant in the corner which gives them a little cover. As I say, I'm going to put something in. That something's just a block of polystyrene. And I'll put that in the corner there. And it'll just give them some cover. So if they need a bit of shade, they'll go under here. And uh, we'll give them a bit of shade from the sun. But as you can see, everyone's happy. I've given them some more food um, just to settle them in. And we'll come back and we'll have a look tomorrow, day two, uh, for the fish and whether they're doing well or not. And I'm sure they will. I can see um, the guppies and the mollies are doing extremely well. Um, platies, I can see with the guppies hanging out with the guppies. I can see a couple of um, barbs actually hanging out with the guppies over there as well. Anyway, they'll all find their way. The, the fish will all shoal up the the barbs will shoal together and the platys, mollies and guppies, they'll shoal together as well. And I can see them dotted around all over the place. As I say, I've taken out a majority of the thick blanket weed algae. Um, I'll get some more plants to put in, some Canadian pond weed or something, which will give them some more cover and it will um, strip the nitrates out of the water and so the algae won't grow so fiercely in here, although it does because it's so open. and. Uh, and uh, bright anyway there we go just an update of my raft bed pond the water lettuce is there floating water lettuce a large one there and everything's going well so more fish added cheers let's say big thank you to christopher the postman um, and all the postmen in england do a fantastic job i hope you get paid more um, and i hope everybody doctors nurses and anyone else who's striking about pay in the uk gets paid the, what they're due um, there we are. Cheers.